In this video, you will learn how to configure the Follow Me feature for an extension. The Follow Me feature provides the ability to ring multiple extensions or external phone numbers simultaneously or in sequence. This feature is assigned on a per-extension basis and there is no limit to the number of extensions or external numbers that can be configured in a Follow Me list. From the UCX web-based configuration utility, click on the PBX tab. From the PBX configuration page, there are two ways to access the Follow Me configuration. From the Extensions page, select the extension. Then click on the Follow Me Settings link. The second method is to go directly to the Follow Me page by clicking on Follow Me on the left side column. Here you can see the list of extensions on the right side column. Extensions that do not have Follow Me configured will have the word Add in brackets beside it. Extensions that already have Follow Me configured will have the word Edit in brackets beside it. Click on the extension to either add or edit a feature. Let us go over the fields on this page. The Disable checkbox is used to disable the feature without deleting the configuration. When the box is unchecked, that means the feature is enabled. We will check the box now. There are two other ways to enable and disable the Follow Me feature. One from the user portal and two using the feature code toggle star 21. We will go over the other two methods later in the video. The next field, Initial Ring Time. This is the number of seconds to ring the primary extension prior to ringing the other entries in the Follow Me list. Ring Strategy. There are several ring strategies to choose from in the drop-down list. To understand what each of the ring strategy mean, just hover your mouse over the question mark. Ring time. This is the number of seconds to ring the phones in the list. If a hunt style strategy is selected above, this is the length of time to ring each phone in the hunt list. Now in the follow me list, this is where you enter the list of phone numbers to ring one entry per line. You can use the extension Quick Pick to add extensions to the list. You can also add external numbers to the list. If your dial plan requires an access code to dial externally, make sure you enter the number here exactly as dial. For external numbers, you also need to suffix the number with the pound sign for this to work. It is important that you do not remove the primary extension from this list. Announcement If you want the caller to hear an announcement before the system starts dialing the list of entries, Select the system recording from the drop-down list. Play music on hold. If you want the caller to hear music while the system is dialing the list of entries, then select a music on hold class from the list. Or keep the default value ring if you want the caller to just hear ring back tone. Next is a CID name prefix. Optionally, you can prefix the caller ID name when ringing extensions in the list. For example, if I enter UCX colon in this field, extensions ringing in the follow me list will see the caller name prefixed with this value. Alert info. This field provides the ability to configure distinctive ringtones on the SIP phone. For details of this feature, 
please refer to eMetroTel's online documentation on distinctive ringtones. The next section is Call Confirmation Configuration. When the option Confirm Calls is selected, external numbers receiving a call must press 1 to accept the call. This option is useful in cases when a follow me list includes external numbers that have voicemail configured. Enabling this option will make sure the call is answered by the person and not by voicemail. This option only works when using ring all strategies. The next two announce fields are applied only when confirm calls option is enabled. You can select your own customized recording or use the system default. The next section, Change External CID Configuration, allows you to alter the caller ID information sent to follow me destinations. To understand what are the different modes, just read the description for the field. The last section, Destination if no answer must be configured. It is used to route calls when none of the follow me entries answers the call. Click on Submit Changes, then Apply. After the administrator has configured a follow me feature for the extension from the UCX web-based configuration utility, the user can now manage the follow me settings on their own from the user portal. From a web browser, enter the IP address of the user portal. Log in using the extension number and the voicemail password. From the left side column, click on the follow me link. The user can now enable and disable the feature from this page. The user can also change entries in the list. Other parameters as listed here can also be modified by the user. Now the third method to enable and disable the follow me feature is using the star 21 feature code. From the phone, press star 21 followed by the pound sign. Follow me activated. So if the feature was deactivated, pressing star 21 will activate the feature. Now we'll press star 21 again. Follow me deactivated. And now the feature is deactivated. This completes our tutorial on the follow me feature.